Hi, this is Sonia Doucette. In this video, I'll show you how to calculate the current in amperes required to produce a certain amount of product in a certain amount of time. So in this problem, you're asked how many amperes must be passed through an electrochemical cell to produce sodium hydroxide at a rate of 20 kilograms per hour. So this is a type of electrochemical cell that's used in the chloroalkali industry for production of NaOH and one of the byproducts of that is the production of chlorine gas. So we're just going to focus on the production of NaOH and how many amperes you'd need to produce uh, NaOH at a rate of 20.0 kilograms per hour. So the first thing you want to do to solve this type of problem is figure out the moles of NaOH produced in one hour. So in one hour, we have 20 kilograms of NaOH. You want to convert that to grams to eventually convert to moles. So you have in one kilogram, 1,000 grams. And to find moles, you have one mole of NaOH having 40 grams of NaOH. So the grams cancel, the kilograms cancel, and you're left with 500 moles of NaOH being produced in one hour. The second thing you want to do is figure out the half reaction stoichiometry that is going to be relevant to the production of NaOH in order to find the charge in coulombs. And once you have the charge in coulombs, you can easily convert it to amperes. So first, half reaction stoichiometry. So in this type of electrochemical cell, and you'd have to know about this electrochemical cell to have this information, the half reaction relevant to the production of NaOH is as follows. You have two water molecules in liquid form plus two electrons giving you hydrogen gas molecule plus two hydroxides. And it's these two hydroxides where you have the combination of a hydroxide plus a sodium to give you NaOH. So the stoichiometry that you can get out of this that will be important to determining the charge in coulombs is that for every two moles of electrons you get two moles of hydroxide. So two moles of electrons equals two moles of hydroxide. And also you have one mole of hydroxide and for every one mole of hydroxide, you get one mole of sodium hydroxide. So one mole of hydroxide is equal to one mole of sodium hydroxide. So using this information and also the information that 500 moles of NaOH are produced in an hour, you can figure out the charge in coulombs. So start with our 500 moles of NaOH multiplied by one mole of OH per one mole of NaOH. And you also have this other conversion where you have two moles of OH for every two moles of electrons. And then the final conversion you have to make here is the Faraday constant. So the Faraday constant is 96,500 coulombs, and it's defined as the electric charge in coulombs on one mole of electrons. So that means you have 96,500 coulombs per one mole of electrons. So your moles of electrons cancel, your moles of hydroxide cancel, moles of NaOH cancel, and you're going to be left with coulombs. And what you're going to get for that value is 4.825 times 10 to the 7th 
coulombs. Remember, this is in one hour. And all you have to do now is to convert coulombs to amperes. So this is the third aspect of this problem. So you have 4.825 times 10 to the negative 7 coulombs. And a coulomb, or an ampere, is equal to coulomb per second. So all you need to do is bring your time factor back in, and you know that this is the number of coulombs in one hour, and you just need to convert hours to seconds to get the units of amperes. So you know that in one hour there are 60 minutes, and in one minute there are 60 seconds. So everything cancels out, giving the units of coulombs per second, or amperes, which is what you want. And when you do the math, you get 1.34 times 10 to the fourth coulombs per second, or amperes, which is the same unit. So this is your answer. These are how many amperes must be passed through an electrochemical cell to produce sodium hydroxide at a rate of 20 kilograms per hour.